Welcome yeah. into the End the Money podcast for KeelanSelect.com. Tom Leach and Jim Goodman, Keelan's director of simulcasting, looking at the Thursday card. We take a look at the feature in the late pick four every racing day of the spring meet, and our feature is an allowance race. And, Jim, we've got a fairly well-matched group, I thought, here in race number eight. How did you see it? Yeah, I thought this allowance race was good. I think uh, market magic on the inside for Bill Mott. And Les Cano is an obvious favorite, running second in Optional 62,000 at Gulfstream um, a little less than a month ago. And uh, coming back, it looks like looks like uh, she's working well. I think you can make a case for Share the Sugar, the three. I think you can make a case for Magic of Reality, the four, who is my choice in here. Rajiv Mirage is four for seven uh, this meet. And uh, he rides well for motion. He's 23%. Uh, motion gets horses ready. And the horses had two preps in at Gulfstream and uh, ran against similar competition, $62,000, um, cutting back from a mile and three sixteenths to a mile and sixteenths. And I think uh, positional speed will be good, and he's uh, she's doing well. I think that there's a lot of pluses for Magic of Reality. I'll also use Canny Nanny, the five, the eight horse for Bridge Mahan and Cassie. Cassie's been doing well to meet Bridge Mahan as well. He's 20%, five for 25. And then Indian Rainbow, the seven, Christoph Clement, you always got to use him. Every time you see his turf races, I go to, okay, here's a good trainer, here's a good trainer, here's a good trainer. <laughs> so it's just kind of like a broken record. I'm going to take uh, Magic of Reality on top, the four, the French Philly, and uh, play her with Market Magic, the one, Share the Sugar, the three, uh, Indian Rainbow, the seven, and Canny Nanny, the eight. And uh, take a look also at the Chinna, the Irish horse, coming in for Roger Atfield. Um uh, First time over, Jimmy Graham riding, uh, probably has a shot as well at a, at a pretty good price. So those are my picks for race eight. I've got the same ones. I just have a different one I'm picking on top. I ended up going to Indian Rainbow. Uh, had some trouble in that U.S. debut last fall. And now you mentioned Clement's the trainer. He's excellent off the layoff. And they reach out for uh, a guy who rides this turf course very well to be in the saddle. So I like all those things for Indian Rainbow. And I think might get a little bit of value there. Uh, and then Market Magic, Magic of Reality, Candy Nanny. Always like a horse like Candy Nanny that's run well over this course. So those are the ones I would use with Indian Rainbow in the allowance feature on Thursday. Late pick four. And uh, this is one where it's hard to come up with a, uh, anyway, it was for me, with uh, something to, to single. In the first leg, uh, I ended up, I like the nine horse uh, a little bit, beat seven horses of 12 in uh, in the debut and really working well. So I'm going to use the 9, the 7, the 10, and the 2. Then in the seventh race, the second leg, I like uh, Keen Pauline dropping back in class. And not enough to, to single, however, so I'm going to also include uh, the 2, Caval. And then in the feature, I'm going to use 7, 8, 4, and 1, all the ones I mentioned. And in the last race, I thought the uh, the eight horse caught a tough field for the dirt debut. So I'm going to give that one another chance. So I'm going to use eight and ten in there. And, again, no no strong enough opinion to single anywhere. So I've got four by two by four by two in my ticket. Nine, seven, two, ten with two, seven with one, four, seven, eight with eight, ten. How about you? Well, I'm going to single at the end in that $20,000 claimer, believe it or not. I think that's what you did yes, on uh, today's Wednesday. card. <laughs> yeah. Um, sixth race. I'm going to use uh, four horses. The two Caps Val, first-time starter for Grand Motion. The eight Michelle for Jeffrey Lynn with two good races at Oak Lawn. The ten uh, Port Charlotte, first-time starter for Grand Motion again. And the twelve Super Stylish for Brett Calhoun on the outside. So two, eight, ten, twelve there. I'm going to use one, five, seven in the second leg. Roaming for Gail Cox. I'm a looker. Or Pat Dupay, not really great, uh, out, outstanding, well-known trainers. But the seven, Dale Romans, King Pauline is my top choice there. So if I were looking to cut another race, I would single King Pauline there. But I'll also use the one and the five with her. And then on the uh, feature race, I'm going to go all. Uh, when we handicapped it, I, I cut it down to five or six horses, and I can't go any less than that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the all button. And I'm going to take a stand on the maiden special dropper in the last race, Mr. Wise Guy, off a really good race at Fairgrounds. Um, if uh, he runs back to that race, a 72 buyer, 
he wins a twenty thousand dollar claimer easily. So I'm gonna single Mr. Wise guy in the last. So that's my ticket. I think four by three by all by single. Good luck with your wagers on the Thursday card. We'll do another podcast for the rest of the racing days of this spring meet. And plus on Saturday, we do a separate podcast to take a look at some other major stakes races around the country. That's the one, of course, we do all year long here at KeelanSelect.com.